Americans are spending over a thousand more dollars a month on everyday necessities due to inflation. According to Moody's Analytics, gasoline and housing costs contributed to more than half of last month's increase. Auto insurance, rent and food prices also a factor. Experts warn inflation is not just stalled, but is actually moving in the wrong direction. Well, it's already challenging enough to buy a home under current market conditions. And insurance only adds to the costly expenses. New concerns rise about the affordability for homeowners insurance. Jacqueline's got more for us this morning. Yeah, good morning, guys. So the cost of owning a home is going up. We know that. And it's not just that initial price of the house itself or the high interest rates that are making home ownership so expensive. It's also the insurance. Insurance costs are up 4.65% from last year thanks to a rise in claims and ballooning repair costs as well. Some experts predict that by the end of the year, homeowners insurance could be as high as 6% with the average cost exceeding $2,500. And those experts also warn to not count on the Fed to bring any relief anytime soon. I predict if rates go down, housing prices will go through the roof. You would start to have a buying frenzy again, much like during COVID. So I think right now the good thing is that mortgage rates are high, but if they lower those rates, those, those prices could skyrocket again. Now, a recent online survey found that one in five homeowners don't believe that they can afford a $500 emergency repair on their home without going into credit card debt or any other sort of debt as well.